CK22 gameplay trailer drop. Yes, sir. Go tune in. Yes, sir. Go on Twitter. What's good, YouTube? This is your boy RJ back with some intel information. It's you guys, man. How you guys been out there? Getting ready for 2K22. I know it's been a minute. Um, I know I kind of like say that in every video, so we're not even gonna say it's been a minute. Just know that we coming, we coming strong like we used to be. But still, all in all, we got some quote unquote gameplay, right? So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna watch this trailer. Because they said gameplay, as you see with this picture, looking like gameplay. Yeah. So let's get into what we're going to be watching here. So we're here with the gameplay. Let's see what this is talking about, because this is what 2K said, gameplay, right? All right, let's see what this gameplay is hitting for. Mm. all right you guys let me know what you guys <laughs> already think down below in the comment section this is a 2k22 trailer now big shout out to gamestop gamestop hey what up what up gamestop hey look we ain't giving no promotion for you guys but what up gamestop big shout out to y'all for just going ahead and throwing out this trailer you want to know why because we've been waiting for content and at the end of the day gamestop was literally like look what is up with 2k waiting to just drop this drop something like they was like we don't got no pre-orders for 2k can y'all drop something you know what we gonna leak it here here's the world here look at it chat look at it that's pretty much they said look at it chat that's what we would say in the stream look at it come pre-order because at this point, 2K, I feel like y'all is just dragging the bag slow and just like, <laughs> we can't wait to just randomly drop some bull BS so you guys can go buy the game anyway. Because we're going to end up buying the game anyway. They know how to get us, right? I know people be like, I'm just going to wait till they drop some gameplay before I pre-order. They can drop a little snippet of a clip and we still going to go pre-order. And not even pre-order, we're going to go buy the game. Like, come on, let's be real. It's the only basketball game. What else you going to do? You can go by 2K22. So with that, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and do a little slight breakdown of what I noticed, some differences within 2K, what they focused on throughout this trailer. Because we're supposed to be getting gameplay today later on. That's what I've been hearing. So they said my team gameplay too. Um, but I got a feeling that there's going to be some gameplay footage gonna, that's going to be out there very, very soon. You know how 
when they drop the games there's that one person that always get a little copy and they want to go live on twitch so be staying tuned for that but without further ado looking here into the trailer a little bit um hey of course they they going crazy they going crazy on the graphics of the players like i said the one person i noticed that i was like damn they did their thing on the graphics of getting the face scan correct not only k cunningham but as far as in they had got they got that boy mellow to the t they got that boy mellow to the t from the from the dye the color of his hair to just the looks of him like i'm like 2k know how to get some graphics i will definitely say that they they know how to bring the graphics to the to the to the ball game um but also what i've been noticing is like right here a lot of these animations it seems like 2k is focusing on too much of the outer source of the game right if you get what i'm saying about the outer source of the game like i don't care about i don't care about seeing seeing the bench go crazy you feel me i get it but i really don't care personally i mean do you do y'all care chat i mean do y'all in the comment section do y'all care because i don't i really don't so it's like they're focusing more so on all right what is the, what is the hype of the crowd or the hype of the bench oh yeah come here now what i did notice as well as luca's jumper is looking looking different it's definitely looking different than last year's jumper i'm gonna go I'm gonna slow it down since i stopped it at a perfect point i'm gonna slow this down so we can look at it together so we're gonna slow it put it at 0.5 his jumper is looking different lucky has a high arc jumper to a dirt form jumper it's looking mighty nice yeah <laughs> three cash i mean you know everybody like using luca so you know we Luca was shooting like this. He's was, he was kind of shooting like this within 2K21, but it looked like he got a higher arc jumper on this uh, in 2K22 this time. Um, also, as well as in biggest thing for me, I know they said my team, but I don't see any type of my team in this trailer whatsoever besides players. I mean, we know my team, we get any players, we put them on a the team, we go crazy. Ding. But as far as in the WNBA players, now, question before I go further with this. What if you guys, do you guys think about this, right? Do you think they will add WNBA players to my team? If so, let me know in the comment section below. Is it a good idea, bad idea, or kind of on the fence of it? Um, I will say this, though. If they were to do that, I think it would be pretty cool. It, it, it'd be something different. Um, Now, a lot of people would probably hate that because it's like, uh, <laughs> mainly be playing with all, with all men. Now, I'm going to add a women a woman to my squad it's not you know it's going to be kind of arcadish but then again it's not at the end of the day it's WNBA players nba players they all play the same basketball game the only difference is that one's a woman and one's a man simple as that so i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure they can keep up with the nba players as well but um i think they would add a couple of WNBA. Well, i ain't gonna say a couple they would have to add they would have to add the whole roster but you know how we got the season rewards now i can see i can possibly see something like that i mean as far as in like doing that for challenges um just to get that season reward up some more i mean you know it'd be interesting to see because uh, i know wnba they're gonna have their own own mode separate um as well so and also with them being able to create a woman character that'd be pretty dope to see as well coming in 2k22 but the biggest thing for me is you know they did their thing on the women graphics as well with, with WNBA. like like i said 2k is very great with graphics i can't hey i can't be mad i can't knock them for that hey that was low-key a new rebound animation that rebound animation was pretty new this blocking animation was pretty new as well now see this is what i mean by the focusing point focusing too much on the outer sources diving into the fans that step back we always seen in the game but right here you know drop you know dropping back to sit on the fans lap next thing you know we're gonna be seeing lebron james probably fall down on one of the fans and see the popcorn and go like like bro are we gonna see are we gonna see somebody like russell westbrook you know what i'm saying like i feel like at this point what are we doing let's focus on the game all right let's get back to what we let's get back to the game all right 2k right so i mean but overall like i said 2k22 is about to drop um the trailer got leaked we should be getting some gameplay a little bit later today um i'll go ahead and drop some more video videos on regards to what's coming as far as with the gameplay and so forth i don't think we're going to be getting a demo though i really don't think we're going to be getting a demo so don't be expecting for that to come 
um besides that hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you like subscribe comment i always appreciate you guys that tune in and like i said we're back and we're better this is boy rj with another video for you guys you dig